Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Today we are back in Black Myth Wukong. Getting pretty far into it, near the end a little bit. Uh, we finished Chapter 5. I believe Chapter 6 is the last chapter. However, I have gone back into Chapter 5 in order to uh, find some of the bosses that we missed. Uh, this was the area where there was the giant spiked boulder rolling back and forth that prevented us from doing much besides running for our life. Uh, and then there was a cinematic scene here with the boar fight, you know, holding off the boulder, and then we went and fought the Red Boy, which is the final boss, Chapter 5. Uh, so now, uh, supposedly, if we double back, there is a boss over here somewhere. Uh, because although I hate, hate, hate spoilers while I'm playing through an area for the first time, uh, I do like to go back, because these games have a lot of hidden bosses. So I'm using a list of, uh, boss locations, and I'm only reading the locations to go back and try to find these things. Uh, so it says double back, uh, after the boulder, uh, well, hello and go there. down the path, keep following the path till it splits into two, then take the left path. Um, not sure if I've seen the split, but I'll keep hugging the left side for now. Yay. How much more Wukong you think you got? It depends on the length of chapter six, because like chapter, you know, most of the chapters were decent length, but chapter, I think it was four, was really short. So I don't know how long chapter six is going to be. So we're going to find these optional bosses, take them out. Oh, I think that's it. Those rocks look different. Uh, take out these bosses. Uh, hopefully take them out, and then uh, go back to chapter six and continue the story. Hello, Rock. Uh, there's a lot of little rocks. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of little rocks that just look up too. Huh. stuff. Oh, wow, that just went on full cooldown. That's rough. Alright, if I can get them to group up, I can AoE... Okay. Two medium-sized ones remaining. One finally. I don't think electricity is gonna work against this, but it gives me an extra hit, uh, hit point bar. Hit him in the stones? He's only stones! Okay, now I'm thinking of a dirty website for golems called Only Stones. damage yet. It's because most of this form's damage is electric, but if we are doing damage, while our heal health bar is uh, untouchable. So I'm just going to chip him down a little bit and then we'll go back to normal. Both leaped at the same time, so I couldn't dodge that. Yeah. 
James Moody! Samurai taught me this trick. Flint Vanguard Spirit. Mm. Let's see. Where is that? Take the form of Flint Vanguard. Pummel the foe with stone fists. Each strike stacks Scorch Bane. If the foe is ignited, they will also suffer burn damage over time. Moderately increases Scorch damage and burn resistance. Watch demo. So it's the little, it's the little tantrum thing. Mm okay. Alright. Mmm, I've got some points to spend. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Consume a moderate amount of additional mana to massively extend immobilization duration. Okay, awesome. Well, we have found that optional boss. Uh, oh, I see another spirit over there, so I'll get that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let me... Let's go, uh, next one. Uh, alright, so looking at the next boss on the list, and looking at the picture, I do not recognize this. I don't think I found this one either. It's a secret boss. Uh, must actively summon at a specific location. It is a short way past where the vanguard is located. I just fought the vanguard. Head past the vanguard until you... Okay, hold on a sec. Time out. Let me just stop reading there. This path continues? I thought this was a dead end. Mm, that's an invisible wall. Ah... Uh... What? Okay, I'm I'm freaking done with you. Normal attacks stun it enough that it does stops hitting me back, but the Muda Muda thing does not. Okay. Ah, uh, not gonna lie, not in the Souls like games, but this one I kind of want to try. I would say that this is not a flat-out Souls-like. I would say it has some overlap with Souls-like games. But I think if you just saying that Black Myth Wukong is a Souls-like is not completely true.
This looks like something important. Deliver? What am I delivering? Requires four flame ore. Oh my god, what is flame ore? Is that is this the boss on them? Head past and you'll start to see flamelings crop up from the ground. Kill them as they appear. Some of them give flame ore. When you have four, head to the clearing where you'll see a patch of ground and smoldering with red. Okay, so the things I just killed gave me those? Great job with the Yorsa PvP video. Lots of great ideas to improve it. Thank you, Matsu. I don't know if... Oh, there's something I missed. I don't know if anyone who actually, you know, does game balance has watched it. Or if they care. Like, you know, they might have thought of those ideas and ruled them out for various technical reasons years ago. I have no idea, but... A guy can dream, right? Uh, I wonder if I need to reset this area and run down here again to uh to get another flame orb. Um let's see. All right, so I'm going to use this to teleport back to the shrine. Wait, what? <laughs> uh yeah, I see I see on um the YouTube chat. So uh, over in the YouTube chat for those that aren't over there, um, they tried to do a shout out for Noxy. And it says, check out Noxy the Noxian. They are currently playing at twitch.tv slash muckalock YouTube. <laughs> so something is wrong with the shout out command, but uh, I, I'm okay with it. It's always Muck's fault. You will make a great wife someday. Uh, I, uh, I, I hear that a lot. Mucklick hijacking Noxie's channel. Well, it's like how Aerolosen hijacked a lot of my, uh, my, my viewers and my guildmates. So, uh, you know, it's just the circle of life. Next, uh, Noxie needs to hijack Errol somehow and we'll be full circle. I'm already a wife, but thanks, I guess. See? I called it! You're welcome. Have to do three dodge rolls if they set you on fire to get the flames out, or use a consumable, but I'm trying to save those. Oh, missed time for that. Oh my god! Flame more. There, got it. That's what I needed. Ew. 
Interesting. So I got a trait, and it basically is when I break the immobilize on something by beating on it, it will give me a bit of mana back. I did an AoE immo Another trait makes the immobilize an area of effect. So my one cast of immobilize, immobilize two targets, and then I got mana back for each of them when I broke them. So that means AoE immobilize is more mana efficient for multiple reasons. Okay, I should have enough flame ore for whatever this is. All right, so beyond the location, I haven't seen what this thing is. I'm gonna take one drink just in case. You know what, I'll even use this just for fire resist. Mother of Flame Links. Oh, I've been killing Flame Links. I bet she's not happy about this. Oh my lord. I can't see. was like almost 20% of her health. Guy. Oh. Okay, she is susceptible to being electrocuted, not like a rock. You missed? It's an immobile creature! I'm very disappointed in you, Lightning Man. Like, when she screams, it's like I get stunlocked or something, but she's almost dead. Alright, just gonna bring all the Coca-Cola before we absorb this. Nice. First try! Mother of Flameling Spirit. Okay, what is this? Uh, did I, wait, did I pass it? Where, oh, there it is. Uh, take the form of the Mother of Flamelings. Summon Flamelings to aid in battle, breathing fire that burns surrounding foes. Moderately reduces cooldown for all spells. That's kind of cool. That might be... 
a better version of the snake summoning guy? Similar effect, but fire instead of poison. All right. Next up. Uh, let's see. Rusty. Okay, okay. I found the next one. Uh, all right. So this one. Found guarding the iced over archway near the cooling slope shrine, which you can reach by following the path beyond the Mother of Flamelings arena. However, it will only spawn if you followed certain specific steps in order. Here's what to do to spawn it. Oh, God. All right, let's teleport back to the shrine. Defeat and speak to the Pale Axe Steward. Done. Defeat the Brown Cart. Done. Defeat the Grey Bronze Cart. Done. Speak to Matianba inside the broken down cart in the lava past the valley entrance shrine. Uh, I don't recall if I've done that. Defeat the Crimson Cart. Done. Speak to the Pale Axe Steward again at Ashen Pass 1. I will tr hold on. Let's let's see that. Ashen Pass one. Let's see. Uh, so the Pale Axe Stewart was that Minotaur guy at the beginning of the act. Let's see if he says anything new when I go there. Hey Mug, are you going to play Space Marine Two uh, on early access, the official release? Uh, I don't think I have early access, but I I will be playing it. Um, it's I will be playing it after Black Myth Wukong, because we're we're nearly done with this. But I don't have the exact, uh, exact date. Early access is tomorrow with the deluxe edition. Okay. I, I haven't bought it yet, so I don't have EA. Okay, there's the Minotaur guy. I tolerate no evil under my nose. Neither does my axe. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. Heed my words. The Red Boy's carts are nothing more than a distraction. Thinks he can outwit me. <laughs> bah, that brat. <sighs> Make haste and head up the mountain. We must figure out what he is planning. <laughs> They are called five element cuts for a reason. What's your tally? Oh, well, the entrance is secured for now. You can go first, and I'll catch up with you later. I'm uh, trying to exhaust his dialogue. The king once told me that each of the five carts has its own unique nature. The king once told okay. me that each All right. of the five Speak to him again where you fought the Crimson Silver Cart. What? Where did I fight that one? Okay, hang on a sec. So, go back to the shrine. Where was the Crimson Silver Cart? Okay, here we go. Slap in the middle of the story path. You can't miss it. So, yeah, I did fight this one. Where was it? Left-hand path from the Keeper of Flaming Mountains Arena, and after the next archway, you'll be attacked. Okay, it's more aggressive than previous cards. Okay, uh, I remember fighting this. The question is how to get back to that spot. Sure, if this is it or not. Let me see. Uh, I think it's after the shrine. I'll find out in a minute. Game wreck. Yeah, the. Space Marine 2 is one of those games that I'm extremely interested in playing, so whether it's on the game rec sheet or not, uh, I'm telling you guys now, I'm gonna play it. 
It looks really good. I'll look into the okay, so wait, hold on real quick. So you guys were saying if I if I pre-order it, I'll be able to play it early, even if I don't get the deluxe edition. Is that is that accurate? Yikes, sixty dollars. Only deluxe. Okay, hold on. Uh pre-purchase sixty. If you do gold edition. You can play it tomorrow. This is ninety dollars, or Ultra Edition, which is a hundred. Okay, that's uh, that's a lot. Sixty dollars for standard, which is uh, playable next week. Uh, and you know, as always, I I had side quests. Try to contact the company to see if uh, I, they could tell them like, hey, you know, this is a very important potato. Can he have a Can he have a copy of the game? But <laughs> it's. It, uh, I haven't heard anything back. I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, Games Workshop. I don't know if I'm gonna get a free game from them. A monkey. What monkey? Where? I'm trying to, is this where? Take the left hand path through Keep Arena and after the next archway you'll be attacked from afar. Okay. Is so at the top of the cliff to the right? All right. Like, I did fight this thing. I beat it. I'm just trying to remember its exact location, because an NPC is there that I need to talk to now. I don't mind waiting for it. Dude. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't either. We've got other stuff. Ah, uh, yes, yes, this is it. You brat, fighting for your own pleasure. You should have spared me a cart before my axe gets rusty. I can see the king from here. Stripped of his mount and weapon. I wonder what's behind all this. What else is hidden in this mountain? All right, I feel blind. Blind. We should find the king's mount first. Bishwee Beast is treasured by the king as his own kin. Beast? How could it simply vanish? The Bishwee Beast is treasured by the king okay. as his own king. All right, so we've exhausted the dialogue How of this guy at this location. Vanish? What is next? Okay. Approach the iced over archway near the cooling slope shrine. Okay, so back to a shrine. And as always, I have not looked at what this upcoming boss does. I'm just trying to figure out how to spawn it. And like, this sequence of events, absolutely would not have figured this out. All right, uh, I wanna get the, re-equip the needle. All right, and interact with this. Travel to the... Co wait. Cooling slope? Where the hell's the cooling slope shrine? Uh... Shoot, did I miss that one? Well, that's a problem. Okay. Um. <sighs> Black Myth Wukong Cooling Slope Shrine. Cooling Slope Shrine location. All right. All right. Got Shut up. 